Welcome everyone to HUFIN News. Today is November the 26th, 2017. And this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis where we are giving you the news according to the charts. And we do that by the price bars and the volume. We do not use any indicators or patterns or shapes or colors on our charts in order to predict where prices are likely to move. We are not investment advisors and we are not giving you investment advice, but rather, like we said, we are giving you news according to the charts. So you guys can see that the market cap for the cryptocurrency space is ever increasing it is now at $294.5 billion. Yesterday it was at 280. So that kind of tells you the magnitude of how much money is coming into the market. And Bitcoin also has increased in dominance. It now stands at 53%. In the last couple of videos ago, we saw it at around 51.8%. So it shows you that more money is coming into the Bitcoin space. And you guys can see that the price for Bitcoin is now at $9,347. And that's according to this website. And you can look at the chart over here on the right and see how Bitcoin just shot up over the last couple of minutes hours i don't know how long this this time span is for these particular charts but you guys can see how sharp in the increase bitcoin shot higher but they are up 6.87 percent ethereum is also up 0.40 bitcoin cash is up 9.64 ripple is down one and a half percent bitcoin gold is down 4.30 dash is down as well almost three percent Litecoin is down almost 2, Monero 3% down, NEO is down 0.23, IOTA is up more percent, and Ethereum Classic is down half a percent. So it looked like the majority of these major cryptocurrencies is trending lower at the time being, except for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our analysis that we do on a daily basis. So you guys can see that Bitcoin is up 6.37%. Last trade was at $9,290.10. And you guys can see that Bitcoin continues to move higher, which is what we forecasted on our video yesterday. And we received that on today. And you guys can see that some stockpile is coming in on today's particular bar, which also tells us that selling or profit taking is occurring right now in Bitcoin, but nevertheless, we're still forecasting them to move higher. But since we have stockpile on this bar, we are going to show you where Bitcoin can possibly trade lower. OK, because you guys can see over the last couple of hour bars, we have these very high volume spike price bars and which is indicative of the market selling the market participants selling at this high range. And you can see how the volume just completely dropped for Bitcoin over the last three hour bars, including this one that is forming now, which tells us that the interest in these higher prices, it's subsiding somewhat right now. And if the market's going to move lower, you can expect it to definitely come back to $9,200 and even maybe $9,100 in the short term. But if there's no more interest in higher prices where Bitcoin is now trading, it could come all the way back down to 9,000 because that is where we are finding resistance and support for this particular cryptocurrency. One of the things I want you guys to see as well as how the volume is decreasing while Bitcoin is here trading around this range, which gives us even more inclination into saying that Bitcoin should be trading lower. So you can expect Bitcoin to at least trade lower in the short term and it might come all the way back down to like we said 9,000 even the lows from this particular price chart this bar right here which is around nine thousand one hundred twenty four dollars and the volume is increasing as Bitcoin is moving higher which is a good sign but this last bar is definitely higher than the last four bars which tells us that we are getting more sellers in the market than buyers to buy up the selling so you can expect Bitcoin to at least trade sideways. So we already told you how low Bitcoin could go and it might, could come, it might come all the way back up to the highs 
of today, which was around $9,495 as well. But that's the sideways trade and action that we're forecasting for Bitcoin. So now let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum is up 1.17%. Last trade was at $469.86. So Ethereum shot lower from our analysis like we told you yesterday from our video and it came all the way down to $446. I think we forecasted it to go to $450 which is not that bad but you guys can see that the market participants has came in and bought up all the selling that occurred in the market and the volume is also lower too which is a pretty good sign for ethereum to kind of move higher and we're still expecting to move higher and it's going to be towards 480 dollars or even the high that occurred on yesterday which was around 483 it might even go higher than that due to the fact that the market shot all the way down to 140 I mean 446 but then it's closing above the close from yesterday which tells us that the interest in prices at least at that range is still there so our analysis for Ethereum is for them to continue to trade sideways and it might even move higher and if it does it can definitely can break 480 but we're looking for them to move higher as well so now let's go to Bitcoin cash So Bitcoin Cash is up 11.53%. Last trade was at $1,741.60. And we told you that we were looking for Bitcoin Cash to move higher due to the fact that the volume has dried up on today's particular bar. And we definitely have a push to go above, which is a precursor of strength. And the market actually came almost to the highs that occurred on yesterday as well. And given the fact that this bar is so wide, kind of lets us know that the market is going to be moving higher as well the volume is almost the same as what it was yesterday so with that fact we are going to show you where Bitcoin cash can possibly come in touch and it looks like Bitcoin cash is at least going to come back to the highs of around $1,777 which is not that far but if we get weakness it might come all the way back down to 1720 initially right and if we do not get any precursors of strength at this point, at this price area, then expect Bitcoin Cash to come right back down to 1680. And then ultimately you might come back down to 1640. So those are the areas that we're looking for Bitcoin Cash to come at least in touch if it moves lower. And if we continue to get these precursors of strength bars as we have here over the last couple of hours, then expect Bitcoin Cash to definitely move higher. And it might eventually come all the way back to, I'm going to switch it to a six hour chart. So you can definitely expect Bitcoin Cash to come all the way back up to $1,900 or even $1,925. Okay. If we are continue, if we continue to get these precursors of strength bars, all right. So now let's go to Ripple. So Ripple is down 1.73% and it is trading at 24 and a half cents. And we told you we we're expecting Ripple to trade sideways. So today comes as no surprise for us. And one of the things we can tell you on this bar is that the volume is lighter, which tells us that the interest in lower prices is not currently there. So we are still expecting Ripple to trade sideways to maybe even higher. And we're still eyeing 26 cents for Ripple to come to. Now, we will need to see a push to go a bar in order for Ripple to come to 26 cents. And if we do not get that, then it will continue to trade sideways. And that might even be between 25 and a half cents all the way back down to 24 or even 23. But given the fact that the volume is lighter, as the market is moving lower kind of tells us that the interest in these lower prices is not there and that the market participants are trying to move ripple higher so now let's go to litecoin 
So Litecoin is down 3.33%. Last trade was at $85.72. So we told you that it's going to take a push to go a bar in order for Litecoin to break through this $88 to $90 range. Because the last time that Litecoin came to this area, the market shot substantially lower on the next trading day. But today, you guys can see how price is maintaining itself right here around this price range for Litecoin, which tells us that the market participants are at least continuing their transacting right here at this price before price will move lower, or they're still getting geared for higher prices. And the fact that the volume is lighter, and this is kind of like a trial run bar, which tells us that at least there is some buying occurring today in the market for Litecoin and we can expect them to continue to trade sideways at the very best but we usually don't give you guys analysis on where we think cryptocurrencies or securities are going to be traded the next day due to the fact we need to get confirmation on this bar so the next bar if Litecoin closes higher will tell tells us that the market participants are still interested in higher prices and that the price will move higher but if the market closes lower, then it tells us that the majority of the volume today was sell volume and that the market will move lower on top of that. So the best that we're going to give you on today is that Litecoin is going to continue to trade sideways. And we're still looking for them to come back up to the highs from today, which was around $90. And it can come all the way back down to $80 or even the lows that occurred today, which was... $82.75. So we just gotta be patient and wait to see what Litecoin is going to do on tomorrow. So now let's go to Dash. So you guys can see that Dash is trading lower on today and it tells us that the market is not necessarily geared for higher prices at the moment and we forecasted that in a video because of the stockpile that came in on today's bar, right? So it tells us that the market for Dash is going to continue to trade sideways and possibly move lower and overall it may come all the way back to the high that occurred today on the 22nd of November which came to $596, so around $600. I'm going to break into a smaller time frame so we can see what is going to occur for Dash. So you guys can see that Dash has just been trading sideways over the last couple of hours, and the market came all the way back down to 610. And the last two bars that we have is definitely giving us precursors of weakness. And it might come all the way back down to $610, $612 and bounce from there and move higher. But if not, it could come all the way back down to $600 for DAS as well. So those are the two price areas that we are giving you for DAS to come in touch, $610 or even $600 before DAS will move higher. And if it's going to move higher, it's going to go all the way back up to the highs from to, from yesterday, which was at $655.74. Okay. One of the things that we do like is the fact that the spread of today's bar and the volume is awfully light. So there's not that much selling at the moment going on for Dash, which gives us a little bit more positivity into saying that Dash at least is going to trade sideways to maybe just to the highs that occurred on yesterday's bar. So now we are going to go to NEO. So NEO is also up 0.41%. Last trade was at $38.28. And the market for NEO is at least sustaining itself to where the bar for today is closing above 
the close from yesterday we are still getting stockpile this is the second day that we have stockpile but notice the small spread and the light volume tells us that neo is still doing business right here around 38 dollars and that the market participants at least right now is trying to show us that it's going to move higher and 40 dollars is going to be that next price area that we're looking for neo to come at least touch or they might even move higher but the interest in lower prices right now for neo is not there but in the event that they will move lower because we are getting stockpile on the bar for today let me show you where neo runs the prospect of coming and touching so neo can definitely come back down to 38 dollars initially and this is where you will want to see precursors of strength and if we don't get that at 38 dollars then it definitely could come back down to $37.50 or maybe even a little lower to $37.23. Okay, so those will be the entry points that we will be looking at here at Houston News for possible places for trades. But like we said, I aim that the market for NEO moves lower then we're still looking for them to at least trade a little higher to that $40 area. So now let's go to Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic is up 1.34%. Last trade was at $21.68. So Ethereum Classic kind of looks like uh, Ethereum. The market shot lower today and it was able to move higher and right now it is closing above the close from yesterday but ethereum classic is still trading right here around the highs that occur in the beginning to mid june and as well as the beginning of september and it's going to take ethereum classic a push the goal bar in order for them to break through at least that 22 dollar area but the market is still showing us that it's still interested in prices at this range so we're still expecting ethereum classic to move lower I mean, i'm sorry to move higher and that's going to be back up to the high from yesterday or even back to 23 dollars and for the fact that we are getting stockpile for ethereum classic let me tell you and show you where we are looking for ethereum classic to come in touch so 21 dollars will be that first initial area that we would like to see precursors of strength and originally you might come all the way back down to twenty dollars and seventy five cents or even twenty dollars and fifty cents because we are getting stockpile right now in ethereum classic right here around twenty two dollars but the market is not falling so that is a very good sign for ethereum classic to at least move higher and like i said we're looking for them at least come to twenty two dollars and fifty cents or even twenty three as well and the volume is also decreasing So now we are going to go to Monero. So Monero is down 3.58%. Last trade was at $162.56. So looking at the daily price chart for Monero, like Dash, the market moved lower, but we are getting buyers in the market. So we are at least expecting them to trade sideways. This is just like a trial run bar. I think it was Litecoin. This is just like a trial run bar. So we need to get confirmation on tomorrow's trading in order to see what the market participants are trying to do. Now, the market may come all the way back up to $170 or it can come back all the way down or it can come all the way back down to $155. So looking at a smaller time frame, we can tell, get a better idea of what the market is trying to do. So given the fact that the volume is decreasing and the market is moving higher for Monero, kind of tells us that at least we'll come back up to 167 if the buyers are still interested in higher prices. But given the fact that the market is getting lighter in volume as it moves higher, kind of tells us as well that the market runs the probability of moving lower. So you guys can see if it does move lower, it could come all the way back down to 156 or even $152 for Monero. But overall, we are getting sideways trading action right now, and it's going to take a lot of volume 
and a very wide push to go up bar in order for Monero to move higher to at least to the highs of $173 to $175. It's going to take a push to go up bar. And right now, we're not getting it, but the market is still trying nonetheless because the last two completed bars, the market shot lower but closed higher than the previous bar, which tells us that the market is still interested in price at this range, at least and expected to trade sideways. And that's going to be around 168, 170, back down to 156 or even 152 dollars. So that's all we have for today. Appreciate the new subscribers, guys. It's just our point on this channel to show you that it is possible to predict price with precision and accuracy on where it is going to go. We are not necessarily trying to show you or give you investment advice. We just want to show you that it's possible that we've been doing this for quite some time and been very profitable at it and just would like to teach you and show you that you too can be your own investor, your own trader and not become reliant on someone else trying to trade your money for you. And once you learn this language, you will become even that much better in your own particular trade because you will actually see what is occurring in the market and it will tell you when to get out, when to exit your position and when to get into your positions. Those are the two best opportunities for you to understand what is occurring in the market. And we've been showing you guys that over the last couple of months. So continue to watch these videos to where you can pick up on some of the things that we're talking about. We do have a video out called just some of the basics that we are giving you just some of the terminologies or the, the meanings of these price bars. And it's not all inclusive but rather we just give you just a tidbit of what the language includes and it takes a lot more learning a lot more things that we have to teach you all in order to become more proficient at the understanding of the market language and we will do that eventually we're just working some things out to where we'll be able to offer this training to each and every one of you so you too can become even that more confident and that is something that we definitely feel positive about. And if you guys got any questions and comments, leave it in the comments section. I know there's a couple of people wanting to know or trying to get us to give them more investment advice or advise them on some things. And the best thing to do is just to sit back, relax, and, and don't rush. You know, paper trade if you got to. But the first thing is to always learn the language in which you are trying to move into so if you're trying to move into the environment of the stock market then you need to understand the language of the stock market if you are trying to move or get into the environment of the cryptocurrency space then you need to learn the language of the cryptocurrency space that's what we do here you can take this language that we are showing you on this channel anywhere that there are buyers and sellers wherever there are price charts and volume you guys can use this to your benefit it's just like anywhere over the country if you're going to go to Spain or China then you need to learn their language and their culture this is the same thing in the financial markets you got to learn their language and their culture and how they move and that's what we do here at Houston News so guys continue to, to stay tuned we got a lot of things coming up that is definitely going to be beneficial for all of you to make you become even that profitable trader that you know you always can be. So guys, stay profitable and I will talk to you later. Have a good one.